it was really bizarre how Connected Realm, it started as this notion of one thing and evolved into something that, you know, <laughs> it changed, but it sort of came back and bumped into itself. You know, it was about being connected, connected to this place and how this place is healing and how this place, I don't know, lights our souls up. I first moved to Haida Gwaii, uh, it was an interesting challenge for me, one that I couldn't even fathom would happen. I love nature, I love being outside, but I couldn't imagine until being in the forest that I would have a struggle with too much green. But Haida Gwaii was literally all green. In my mind, I had to shift my palette, my colors, uh, in order to find a way to isolate the specific greens. What ended up happening for me was I, I ended up using complementary colors in order for the green to exist. I had to use purples and I had to use reds. And I would say I pushed them even further beyond what I saw to help accentuate you know, and define the different trees in the forest. While I'm in the forest and I'm trying to define what I will actually put on the two-dimensional surface. There's this exchange of energy out there and I always feel emotionally charged when I'm in the forest. Just, it's, I don't know, it gives me elation. What that elation equates to is brighter colors, bolder brush strokes, sort of taking that energy or that emotion I felt and taking it to another level when I put it on the canvas. I, I had an exhibit at the Museum of Northern British Columbia. That show was called Brushing the Surface. And I actually stood in the middle of that exhibit and I saw the sign that they had posted for the welcome, uh, you know, Haida Gwaii, brushing the surface. And I had this big profound <laughs> moment where I thought, how can I possibly be brushing the surface of this place, Haida Gwaii, that inspires me after being there for 13 years uh, and painting, uh, painting every day. For me, it's always been about challenging myself and, and what's the next step? What's the next level I can push myself to? So it was sort of in that moment where I thought, you know, I wanted to have a better understanding, uh, maybe through my community, through the other people who live here, uh, what that's about, you know, what is that connection to place? So that's where Connected Realm, the, the sort of the concept uh, came into being. There's this diverse cross-section of people who call Haida Gwaii home and I have a you know I've talked to so many of them about um, you know they they they've come here for different reasons but they stayed you know so I thought there's some parallel there's something that I need to delve into so I decided I was going to interview some people get some feedback uh, and I would I would build my body of works based on the notes that I have from talking to people based on doing exactly what I do, which is go to the forest, go to far reaching places uh, and produce works that people will hopefully then respond to. And that was fall 2019. I was gung ho. I rented a studio space much larger than I normally did because I thought, well, if I'm going to interview people, uh, I want to be able to paint big and have lots of space. And all of a sudden, here we are in March 2020, and the world has come to a standstill. It's the global pandemic was announced. I have this notion of going around and talking to people, and usually I have quite a solo journey in the forest uh, working on my paintings, but I had worked myself up to wanting to go interview people, and now it's being 
suggested, we're being told to avoid people. Don't be around other people. You need to stay safe, stay home, be kind. <laughs> You know, it, we were sort of all on this journey together. Strangely, the idea of Connected Realm even solidified more as I moved forward because I, I pushed beyond not being able to talk to people and I went out into the forest. I decided, you know, I'm going to produce this body of works. I went out and started producing. And what happened on Haida Gwaii, people also went out on the land. People who didn't have time before, they, they went out and they, like myself, uh, seeking solace, just safety, if you will. Time outside seemed to be a healing thing and, and it grounded people in the moment. So I would bump into people randomly and we would have these off the cuff conversations about what I was doing out there. And it kind of turned out to be sort of full circle what the connection you know, they have to the land and it was really bizarre how Connected Realm, it started as this notion of one thing and evolved into something that really, you know, <laughs> it changed, but it sort of came back and bumped into itself. You know, it is, it was about being connected, connected to this place and uh, how this place is healing and how this place, uh, I don't know, lights our souls up. It kind of made me think of about my painting and what I do and and I was sounds bizarre but I was seeing it as my superpower you know people have said about the paintings being how can they all be so happy we've just come through a pandemic and all your pieces are so bright and cheerful and colorful I think certainly for me nature powers that I go out into nature there's this exchange of energy this something you know if you have any bad things or bad feelings that gets left outside whether it's you know with the the rhythm of the waves or the sound of the wind through the trees i'm able to leave that out there and the gift that i get back that energy that desire to create something that is uplifting something what what nature does for my spirit I need to put that on the canvas and I'm very grateful that the viewers respond well to that.